What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back with our final Copart walk around of the week. You gotta come out here and check these cars out, man. 2029 Southeast 15th Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma. This is yard 18. And number one on our list today is a, what the hell is all over? Oh my God, guys. <sighs> all right, all right. So <laughs> we're starting out with, I had to look at the, li the, the, the listing there. An 06 Subaru Legacy GT, 177,000 miles on the odometer. But what caught my attention, why I'm laughing is what the, what the heck is with these lights? These little LED lights, someone stuck all over the front, man. What is that? Get out of here with that. That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, so aside from the ridiculous lights on the grill, the car actually looks looks pretty decent. Tires are in excellent condition. Kind of high miles, but, you know, it's a Subaru. It'll be all right, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks good, man. It's got good tires all the way around. Lots of uh, lots of stickers were all over this one, guys. Lots of stickers. Uh, United States Marine Corps, Marines, St. Michael. So you can get an idea of, you know, who owned the car. It's fairly dirty. It's pretty dingy, honestly. That's really dingy. Real dingy. Lots of keys. Looks like we got two sets of keys to this vehicle as well. Three. Hell, four. Three, two, I don't know, two. Two sets of keys. That is a doornail. Man, it is very dirty in here though. Like this is really, really dirty. What is all, okay. Really, really dirty. The steering feels nice and tight though. The hood is already popped. Like I said, this is a donation and you know, donations are a mixed bag, man. They're, they're hit or miss. Sometimes they're donations that uh, were just somebody sent them off for a good cause, you know? And there's nothing wrong with them. It was just somebody, you know, doing a nice thing. Other times, people are like, you know what? I can't sell this car, so I'm going to donate it. And, you know, whatever it gets auctioned off for, well, at that point, they get a tax deduction based on, you know, what it sold for. So, obviously, the wiring job here was done by somebody named Bubba. I bet you get that YouTube reference. Uh, that's from Cor the Corvette Ben. This is called bubba -fied. It's got wires, just look at this. Just run straight to the battery. There's no fuses, no relays. There's just, just random wires all shoved up under there. Um, okay. Okay, the battery is corroded all to hell. S obviously, it's dead as a doornail. So, we're gonna get our booster pack. Let's see if we can fire it up. All right, we got the booster pack on. I do wanna take a moment just to check the oil. And the oil is full, it's good within a safe zone it's mostly full check the coolant i'm always curious about coolant on subarus <laughs> ah it's barely even moist under the cap and i hear nothing gurgling in the system at all why do i check the coolant on subarus you ask well if you know subarus you, you know why always check the coolant on the subaru guys Oh, it looks like it used to have a bunch of cool lights on the inside, too. There's the connectors for the lights. All right, well. It started right up. No issues there. I'm going to turn the... It's got dual zone climate control. I'm going to turn that on real quick because, you know, I'm hot as hell. I want to see if the AC works anyway. Like, AC's a necessity right now, guys. Absolute necessity. You got to have it. And yes, the AC is ice cold in this. That's good. Here's another. What is that? What was that? What's beeping? What is beeping? I don't even see a flashing light. What the hell is beeping? Is it because the door's open? What? Oh, seatbelt. We're not even driving. Get out of here. Okay, AC is, oh man, that's a blessing. AC is a blessing. Oh man, it smells, it smells a little funky in here, but it's all right. But there's a, there's a good sign right here. October, shut up. October 2019, it went to the dealership, Hudeberg Subaru, uh, and it had an oil change. And it's not due again until 179, 441. It's got 177, 643. So it's barely been driven since it got that oil change. 
it's actually it's actually doing all right. It's not doing bad at all. It's running very well. As I mentioned, the AC is working great. Check the window. Important window works. I'm definitely interested in this one. I wait, I'm sorry about the beeping. The damn thing won't won't shut up. Let's put it in drive. Ooh. It feels like a motor mount. Okay, it goes forward. Backward is fine. Let's put it back in drive because I felt a... Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, it feels all right. Okay. I mean, that's about all you can ask, man. You know, it goes forward, it goes backward, it has cold air, and the important window works. As far as the coolant, man, it's hit or miss on these guys. Hit or miss. It could be something serious. It could literally just be low on coolant. You know, it could be a matter of just pouring a little bit of coolant in it and you're good to go. Or, yeah, it could be something a lot more serious than that. I don't know. Comment below. What do you think of the Subaru, guys? I actually really like this one. I think this is good. It's got that pearlescent paint, too. It's a good-looking car. It's a good-looking car. We'll see what happens. Moving on to the next one. Next on my list is a 1998 Ram 3500, which means it's going to have that beautiful Cummins turbo diesel in it, listed as a run and drive. 285,000 miles on the odometer. She's a big girl. She's a dually. And to be honest with you, this is a beautiful truck. This is a beautiful truck. It is. Ah, I love this. I love it. Now, with that kind of miles on, I'm sure there's a slew of things. Oh, I about fell. I about busted my ass right on camera. Uh, it's a Laramie SLT. I'm sure there's a slew of things probably. Oh, did somebody cut into the frame? Oh, my God. Why? Oh, wow, guys. Uh, someone compromised in two places the integrity of the frame in order to change the air compressor. <laughs> wow on a big workhorse like this and you cut through the frame that's wild that's wild yeah, they didn't do it on this side because you got nothing under there except for the gearbox um wow it's actually in remarkable condition isn't this very similar to the truck used in twister i can't remember i actually watched twister not that long ago probably uh three four weeks ago i watched twister and man, I love that movie. I love that movie. Oh, and it ain't even got any juice. None. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for me to uh, first pop the hood. Oh, wow, the grill's falling off. Okay. Again, perfect opportunity for me to pop the hood, hopefully with, without the grill falling off. And put a link for my uh, voice thing. Looks like it's got new batteries. Those are good-looking batteries. We'll put my uh, we'll put my booster pack on it. I'll put a link down in the description box in case you want to get one for yourself because that booster pack is insane. All right, we got the booster pack hooked up to one battery, and I know, I know, everybody's gonna be like, you gotta have another booster pack for the second battery, Randy. That's never gonna start this truck. Watch it. Watch it. As my dad used to say, take a ring side seat and watch. Oh, let's turn that off. I don't even think that's doing any good. Okay. Low washer fluid. Let's make, let's turn it off. Back on. We'll make dang sure that we don't have a glow plug light. I don't see. I mean, it's 120 degrees out here, so I doubt there's a glow plug light on. Let's, let's fire it up. Just like that, guys. No issues at all. Oh, man, she sounds good. Brakes feel good. Airbag lights on, no big deal. I'm gonna assume the AC works because it looks like someone recently got in there and cut up the uh, frame to change the air compressor. A low washer fluid. Again, no big deal. Ah, dang guys, she sounds good. She sounds real good, it sounds healthy. Ooh, listen to that. Listen to that. Guys, I think she's a winner. Boy, my diesel ain't like that. Good night. 
Alternator's charging. Pull that off, she don't need this anymore. No sir. Put that over there. Listen to this beauty purr, man. I could listen to that all day, guys. I could. But I'm sure for you guys, it's probably peaking the mic. You ain't trying to hear all that noise. Air conditioning is er, not really uh, lukewarm at best. Put it in drive. God dang, this thing is loud, guys. Like, this is insanely loud in here. She moves. Reverse, too. Oh, listen to her. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I wonder if it'll start up on its own now. What do you guys think? I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and shut it off. Hopefully, it's run long enough to charge up the batteries, but I doubt it. Nope, dead as a doornail again. Oh well. Guys, this thing is up to like three grand right now. And this is an absolutely magnificent truck. A great truck. A true testament to Dodge's durability, I would say. Go Mopar or no car. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm not that I'm not that much of a fanboy. <laughs> but damn, I like this truck. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next, another example of a hail damage car that is ripe for the picking, guys. It's got that pearlescent tint to the to the white paint. Beautiful, beautiful car. Hail damage scat pack, guys. This is the 392, again, with only 42,000 miles. And you may not be able to see the hail damage because the way the reflections are off of this beautiful pearlescent paint, it's hard to see, but it is riddled. Trust me when I tell you, riddled in hail damage. Windshield is destroyed. I don't know how well that's coming out either, but the windshield is absolutely destroyed. The roof of the car is just, it, it looks like a golf ball, guys, but 40,000 miles, uh, the pillars are damaged. The quarters are damaged. The tra like the whole car, guys. The whole car is is just it's riddled in hail damage. It is what it is. What do we got? We got Nexon tire on the back, and what do we got on the front? We've got a a, Cor a Courage FX. A Courage. We have a Courage. A Fetter Courage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about all that. Uh, the tires are, <laughs> yeah. But on the plus side, you got a beautiful all motor 6.2 under the hood, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. This one we got to fire up. And although the tires may not be, you know, the greatest in the world, they got good meat on the back. The fronts, I think, are a little bald, but the back look good. Look at that. Man, that's clean. That white and black contrast really looks good. It's a stick shift too, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. This is a stick and it's dead as a doornail. No, hold on. Uh, hold on, let's turn all this crap off here. Off. I told you to turn off, damn it. Listen to me. Oh man. Ears feel good. Backup camera. She feels nice, guys. Real nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I mean, I get. I, there's, there's no reason anything should be wrong with this car. We'll go ahead and put it in gear. Make sure it moves forward a hair, and it does. 
Same thing with backwards. Yep, moves backward. Push the e-brake in here. Ooh, that was that was sticky. Let's listen to that exhaust. This thing's a beast. This thing's a beast. Woo! Guys. Hey, let me know if I got too many Mopars in the videos, guys. I'll try to cut them out. Unfortunately, man, I can't stop looking at these things and I've been seeing them a lot more lately. Maybe it's because I bought so many Mopars that now I'm just seeing them more because I've got an eye for them, or maybe just coincidence that we're seeing more Mopars out here. But damn, man. Damn, this thing is nice. This thing is real nice. That front splitter's all tore up. Mine's already starting to get that way too. It's a great car, guys. Look, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you if you don't care about the cosmetics, it still looks good. You know what I mean? It still looks good. It's not like it's you're going to be embarrassed to drive it. Okay, it's got some hail damage. You could just tell people it's for aerodynamics. Tell people when they ask you why in the hell your car has got dings all over it. You could tell them why does a golf ball have divots all over it. It's for improved aerodynamics, okay? It's improving the aerodynamics of the car. You could tell them you had those dings custom made just for this car to improve the coefficiency of drag. It's that simple. Now, is anybody going to believe you? No, probably not. But, I mean, it sounds like a good excuse to me. That's, <laughs> I would tell people that. Look, who gives a damn, man? She is a beautiful car. Beautiful car. you you got to appreciate it. you got to hail damage or not. you got to respect and appreciate a beautiful muscle car like this. Next on my list is a 2005... I know. Another one. Another one. A damn Land Rover. 05 Land Rover. Hmm... I wonder what this is here for. Listed as a run and drive. Is this a salvage? I don't know. I don't know if this is salvage or not. 171,000 miles on the odometer. It's got some damn good looking tires. LR3. I don't know, guys. Doesn't this have a 4.4 liter V8? I think it does. I don't know. Let's, uh, I know now we're walking in circles around the damn thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Pop the hood. Probably give it a boost because most likely it's not going to start. Oh, it is hotter than hell out here. Golly, man. It's ridiculous. Nice black interior. It's actually pretty clean, guys. It's pretty clean, especially for that kind of miles. The seats are in good condition. Oh, someone left the key in it. Okay, it's dead. That is a door nail. You got all your different modes and your suspension up and down. Highway or four high and four low, I guess is what that would be. Your different four wheel drive settings and then your suspension leveling. It doesn't smell too bad in here. You know what it smells like in here? It took me a minute to figure it out because it's been a while since I've been to a swimming pool. It smells like a damn swimming pool. It smells like chlorine. Like people spent their life out at the lake, or sorry, out at the swimming pool and this vehicle was used exclusively to pick them up and drop them off. Well, yeah, you can see it's been... Damn, that's a big battery. Woo! All right, guys, let's get a boost on this. See what she does. Okay, we got the boost pack hooked up. Let's check the oil real quick. Oil looks good. A little dirty, but not too bad. One thing I do notice... Yeah, it's got, it's got a little coolant in it. Let's check down in there. Uh, I mean, I don't see any, but I can hear coolant. Let's go ahead and lower this hood just a tad. See what she does. No, oh. ooh, it's hot. HDC fault system unavailable. System fault, special programs unavailable, special programs off. Parking brake on. Okay, check engine light on. Oh. 
Well, this is listed as a run and drive, but uh, guys, she don't she don't go into gear. So that's an issue. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Suspension access height selected. Close door to change height. Okay, the suspension is lowering. Okay, and it lowered. Hood open. Select neutral range for change. Oh, there we go. Oh, it wouldn't go into gear because the door was open? Really? Okay, low range selected. Put it back in. There we go, high range. System programs are unavailable. Okay, so there's some kind of fault, I guess, with this with the program for the transfer case. Seems to be some issue there. AC is ice cold. Let's put it in. Let's, sorry, let's rev it up. Doesn't sound nearly as good as the supercharged one sounds, but it does go into gear. It does move. I don't have much room to move it. Yeah, okay. So it does move. Four wheel drive appears to work. Only a check engine light on the dash. Cold air conditioning. Important windows appear to work. I'm gonna close that. Oh, wow. There we go. Okay, sunshade works, sort of. I don't know, guys. I know all of you are probably like, nope, don't do it. Don't do it. I feel a slight stumble, but it goes right away. It goes right away. Hmm, man. I don't need it. And it's probably going to be a big headache, right? Do these fold in? Hell, I don't know. No, they don't fold in automatically. <sighs> Comment below, guys. Tell me what you think of the Land Rover. Shut it off, start up one more time. Although I know the battery pack is still keeping it going system check in progress you know with a dead battery low coolant that seems to be a theme on these Land Rover Range Rovers it could be with a dead battery it's caused an issue in the in the programming here there we go it's working yeah 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 so grass snow program selected I don't even know if you guys can see that mud sand rock it's working good deal well aside from a flat tire it seems to be sitting here and running perfectly well go ahead and pop this hood again unfortunately the hood doesn't stay up so it's kind of difficult to record i'll hold it up with my head there we go there's no pressure on the cooling system yet but it's also not fully warmed up yet either it sounds good, guys. It still, I don't know, to me it looks like it's sitting kind of lopsided back here, though. What mode do we have this in? Uh, let's bring it up. Normal height. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you got to close the door. I don't know if you guys can see the height change. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so it appears the front is also air suspension let's raise it up a little more there goes the back and the front follows wow this thing sits high jeez okay <laughs> let's get out and look at it now wow oh wow look at that that is no BS, guys. This sucker raises up. I like this. I'm almost going to have to buy one. I know they're a pain. I know they're a nightmare. But these things are awesome, man. 
that tire's flat, but it looks like the tire's probably okay. I don't know, we'll see. It's got some dings and scuffs and scrapes all over it. What do we got back here? Oh, are those like WeatherTech floor mats? What? Oh, damn, how do you open this? Right there, there we go. It's got a nice little tailgate on it. I like that. Yeah, I, I like this, guys. Comment below, tell me what you think. I'm actually, I'm truthfully very interested in this one. Very interested. I'm gonna run a Carfax on this. That's what I do before I, I commit to uh, bidding on something. I always run a Carfax, try to get a better idea of what is happening with it. Like, why is it here? Maybe it was in a service department recently and you know, there may be some notes on the Carfax report. So definitely check the link in my description, guys. Every video, every single video, link in my description. There's always a link to like a $4 Carfax report, guys. You can't beat it. They respond quickly. It's very efficient and it's cheap. Like literally, it's it's $5 or under for a freaking Carfax report. I use them all the time on anything that I'm interested in buying. So, like I said, comment section, guys. Click on that link. Get you a $5 Carfax. With that, we're moving on to the next one. Last one on the list, guys, a clapped out 97 Chevy 1500. I got a soft spot for these old trucks, man. I do, I always have, I, I don't know why. It's got a decent set of wheels from what I can see so far. Prime well tires. They're Prime well PS850 or P5850, hell, I don't know. I don't know, single cab. Honestly, the truck is, it is kind of clapped out, man. But you know what? You put a fresh coat of red paint on this. This truck actually looked pretty damn good, to be honest with you. Uh, lots of clear peel and light surface rust starting on the roof. Same thing on the hood here. I don't even know what engine this got, guys. I don't know if it's a 5.7. I don't know if it's a 4.3. Well, there's your answer to that. Eh, okay. Well, that just made it a whole lot less desirable. <laughs> I don't If you can't tell, that's the V6. That's the V6. Damn. It's listed as a non-runner. I don't know. I'm always down to come out here and put a... Oh, is it, it ain't even got a... Oh, there's the battery. I forget they had an extra battery spot over there for the diesels, and they just left it blank. No coolant at all. That's always... That's always a good sign. Check the oil. Check the oil. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're not going to try to turn this one over, I guess, guys. There's not even a drop in this. I wonder if this thing's locked up. Yeah. Damn. What a way to end the video, right? Ooh, I can't even get this to go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to assume this thing had some major... Ugh. Are you kidding me? Jeez Louise. Let's see how this trans fluid looks. Trans fluid is actually very clean, but the engine has no oil. You know what? Let's at least see if it'll crank over. It can crank over. I think I saw a drip. A drip of engine oil on the dipstick. We could at least, we could try. We could try at least see if it'll crank over. I can't get the dipstick to go back in the engine. No matter which way I turn, it doesn't want to go back in there. Yeah, at least at least I'll know if the engine is seized up or something. And it wouldn't surprise me one. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. Okay, the floors are full of mildew and mold and rust. Oh my, guys, if you could smell this. Oh, it's been leaking. Look at this. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh my God. Woo. There's a. Uh, it's been leaking through the windshield. Oh. Uh. Oh man. Oh hell. Ugh, this is bad, guys. This is bad. Oh okay. I'm gonna get a booster pack. I just want to see if it cranks over, and then we can leave this one for somebody else. Guys, I got I got juice to her. I gotta hold my breath when I come in here. I ain't trying to breathe none of that. Uh, the key wasn't turning a minute ago. I don't know if it's gonna turn now or not, so I'm gonna hold my breath. Let's see. 
Nope. I don't even see any lights coming on in this thing at all. Oh God, you're gonna make me sit in this. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm covering up my face. GM. Is this even the right? Yeah, it's the right key. We got nothing, man. The ignition makes no attempt to turn at all with this key. No matter how you jiggle it. I'm calling that a wrap then, guys. Besides that, I got juice to it and there ain't nothing in it. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Of course, I could have a bad ground. I could try to move it. I'm pretty sure the alternator was a decent ground point for it. I'll try it again. Last time, guys. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Now the light's on in here now, so. Locked up engine, that's what I suspected. Okay, all right, well, there you go, boys and girls, golly. Like I said, clapped out, I called it. That is a completely frozen, dead as a doornail. Good old 4.3, man. Those engines are tough as nails, too. You can tell this thing's just been sitting and sitting and sitting for a long time. Damn. That could have been a fun truck to put back together, man. Make it look pretty. Mako, Mako could have made that thing look nice again. Unfortunately, I think this one, this one's a wrap, guys. And with that, it's a wrap for this video. So that's it for another week of Copart walkarounds, guys. Big shout out and thank you to Copart. Big shout out and thank you to my fiance for coming out here and suffering for four hours out in this heat, man. I truly appreciate her coming out and helping out with these videos. If you guys enjoy this content as much as I enjoy making it for you, hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that we're doing a good job over here on auto auction rebuilds. I would truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click that bell notification icon. Subscribe to the channel before you jump on out of here. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at auto auction rebuilds. You'll see things usually a good four or five days, sometimes even further in advance than you're ever going to see on video. So go follow me on Instagram or Facebook, auto auction rebuilds. Until next time, everybody stay safe out there. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.